Honda are saying they want to make electric cars, but at the same time, they're investing enormous amounts of money into hydrogen power cars, hydrogen power stations, and a hydrogen future. In fact, the Japanese government just invested two and a half to three billion dollars into hydrogen production using brown, dirty coal in Australia. They still believe it's the future. And here is how full on and how 100% committed Honda truly is to this new polluting hydrogen powered future. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. What do I mean by polluting? Well, it's just been established by Princeton University that actually hydrogen does cause emissions. It's not the panacea that people believe it is. It's certainly not a solution to the world's climate or energy needs, as is perpetuated on YouTube and all over the internet and all over the world by politicians and governments. It's such a bizarre political scenario going on right now. But unfortunately, the Japanese government, the United States government, and a number of other governments, including South Korea, appear to be supporting this hydrogen dream in a way that doesn't make sense. For example, Honda has pushed forward with new stationary hydrogen power stations for backup power. Now they're using, incredibly, for this power station, they're using the fuel cells directly from Honda Clarity EVs. Not EVs, I should say, Honda Clarity hydrogen power vehicles, which have a battery in them. They didn't sell these cars, no one wanted them. So Honda has a stockpile of them, and they thought, well, what better thing to do but promote a future use of hydrogen using these old hydrogen cars that no one wants. So they've used them in order to build this new power station. Now, at the same time, the Japanese media, in fact, japantimes.co says that Toyota, Subaru and Mazda are still betting on green combustion fuels, which are hydrogen, they say, amid an EV shift. They say that Japan's auto giants are hedging their bets on the future of transportation, pressing ahead with developing cars that run on hydrogen as the momentum builds globally around switching to electric instead. They seem to be baffled by Honda, Subaru and Toyota's decision here. The world is moving toward electric vehicles. There's no doubt there. Tomomi Nakamura, Subaru Corporation's president said at the Suzuka race circuit east of Osaka on Sunday. But is it going to be a world of only EVs? No one can answer that question right now. Well, Honda thinks it can. It's going to sell next generation hydrogen fuel cell system from the mid 2020s, by the way, I should mention. It's been jointly developing this project with General Motors, secretly. General Motors doesn't talk about this, but the reality is they've actually invested hundreds of millions of dollars into this new hydrogen fuel cell system. When will it be ready? Well, Honda said that it will start selling its next generation hydrogen fuel cell systems for cars and other products in the mid 2020s, initially targeting 2000 units per year, ramping up to 60,000 by 2030. That's quite a difference, 2000 to 60,000. Now this is in an attempt to meet its goal of reducing carbon emissions, so it doesn't have to pay for its carbon pollution. The manufacturer is seeking to expand the take up of zero emission hydrogen, saying it hopes to sell a few hundred thousand units of the system, jointly developed with General Motors annually by the second half of the 2030s. Hydrogen fuel cells produce electricity through a chemical reaction between oxygen and hydrogen without any carbon dioxide emissions. And they're touted as a solution to tackle climate warming, global warming, and many other things. Apparently they just will work miracles. This is in spite of the fact that you need to build out massive hydrogen power station networks all over the world for these vehicles to be adopted, which hasn't happened at all. California has lots of them. Outside of California, there are none. And the other thing with a hydrogen power station is, well, a hydrogen refueling station, like a place where you go to fill up your hydrogen pump, is that people don't realize they're very expensive to build. They need to be sealed perfectly. Plus, these hydrogen fueling stations can only supply enough hydrogen for 50 cars. Once 50 cars have filled up their tanks, that's it, closed for the week until you get a new delivery of hydrogen from wherever the fossil fuel manufacturers make them. Clean hydrogen is still a myth. More than 95% of hydrogen worldwide is manufactured using things like 
coal. Unfortunately, this whole idea of driving around in these clean hydrogen powered vehicles is simply a myth, primarily for that reason. Primarily also because people are not stupid enough to buy these cars in the first place. So what are General Motors and Honda thinking? Well, here's what they're thinking. They've been working on this system for years, many, many years. Their sunk cost bias won't allow them to say, you know what, that was a waste. Sure, we wasted a few billion on that. It's time to write it off. And that is why they keep on investing money into this technology. Make no mistake, it costs hundreds of millions of dollars to build a new car platform. But if you combine the new car platform with this new technology, we're talking about billions of dollars. In order to sell how many cars exactly? Not many, I don't think. Now, I find this all a bit crazy. General Motors and Honda, you would think they would have moved on from this. They would have maybe learnt from the fact that, well, EV sales are crushing it. They're killing it. And EV technology improves drastically every single year. Battery prices, they're down 24% this year. Lithium prices are down 65%. We're trending in the right direction. Maybe Honda and GM made a, a bit of a wake up call. Mary, what's going on? Let us know. Thank you for watching. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye.